All right, well, thanks so much, Sean. We're going to zoom out just a little bit here and take a look at what's going on around the rest of the southeast. And as you can see, we've got these very cool and mild temperatures going on. We're the cool spot right now at 64. We're a little bit rain-cooled right now. A little bit higher down in Miami. They've seen a little bit of the sunshine today at 75 degrees right now. And mid-70s as we go up to our north, 76 in Nashville, and a slightly warmer 79 back in New Orleans right now. That kind of gives you an idea of what's going on across most of the region. Now let's take a look in our general area area here in Tallahassee. Again, 64 in the capital city. Warmer as we move out west, 75 at Crestview, 71 at Mariana, but cooler as we get down to the peninsulas because they are a rain-soaked area right now. 59 in Perry and Cross City, 61 as you reach Ocala. Now, if you take a look at the dew points, we're going to see the exact opposite here. We're going to see 57, upper 50, 62 in Jacksonville. Those are higher dew points. While out to our west, we've got 44 in Crestview, 46 in Panama City, much lower dew points. This is an indication of the dry air to our west and the moist air coming in from the south and east that's going to be moving in our general direction over the next few days. Now, as we see it right here on radar, big low pressure system, we can see the rotation that's going on with that. It's being considered a little bit of a warm front as well as it moves its way across the peninsula. Some stronger storms right now, heavy rain, not really strong storms with this system, uh, down around southwest Florida, Lee County, uh, on down past Naples, into the Everglades and near Miami as well. Uh, this extends all the way back up here, right into Tallahassee. It's the same one that went past us the other day. It's coming back at us again. And it's going to bring us a lot of wet weather over the next few days. As we can see, though, here, here is our atmospheric moisture. That's uh, water moisture in the atmosphere from the uh, lowest level or from mid-levels up through the upper levels. And we see not a lot of motion. We see a lot of dry air, but not a lot of motion. What this means is there's not going to be a lot of movement out of this system. It's going to be sitting on top of us, maybe moving slightly to the west over the next seven days and bringing us a lot more rain. A lot of this rain that's just going to put a real damper on Memorial Day weekend. Now, here's the rain forecast. As you can see, slowly to the west, a lot of this light to moderate rain will be continuing across our area. Not much chance of a dry out anywhere in the state of Florida over the next several days. So let's take a look here. Uh, National Hurricane Center said yesterday we were going to be watching a little bit of a system over here over Cuba for the possibility of preseason development. Today, however, as you can see, that system has been absorbed into our current system that's affecting the state, and there is not much chance for any development out of this system anymore. So not likely to have anything coming from this system as far as tropical concern, just a lot of wet weather. And it should be noted, however, that we are only two weeks from hurricane season, so consider this a preseason warning to make sure you have your preparations in place for when we get to the hurricane season. Tonight, mild, cool across the area, 61 here in Tallahassee. And as we go into tomorrow, we're going to be looking at another uh, mild day across the region. But that's all we're going to be talking about here in our area, just the cool weather, more rain. And we're going to turn it over to Jennifer now with a look at the National.